All right, good morning, everybody. It's 8.20, December the 9th. This month's going by quick, isn't it? Anyhow, that's the sunrise. And if you look, everything around it, all the white out, you can see where they've been spraying. The skies are pretty white right now. And a lot of it is from what they're spraying. All that's what they're spraying up there. You can even see the chemtrails. See how it's still a little blue? And see how it gets whiter? And you can tell what they're spraying. Even over here. Above that blue roof restaurant. You can clearly see where they're spraying. There's part of the moon up there, but they're spraying it all up in there. Anyhow, I got a little bit I want to read. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can clearly see where they're spraying it. cold man I had a lot of ice on my windows this morning okay you guys 2 Corinthians 10 4 through 6 for our weapons for the weapons of our warfare they're not carnal but they're mighty through God to pulling down the strongholds casting down imaginations every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. This is where you guys, we know that we're not living in sin continually. You'll hear a lot of these people say they're sinning all the time. You guys, that's the devil that you're hearing from. You're not hearing them tell you how they're ashamed of the things they once used to do. You don't hear them talking about how they were quickened in with Christ. Their eyes were opened. And they're ashamed of the things that they did before in their past. The things that they don't even like to think about anymore. 2 Timothy 4.3 The time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. Acts 20 28 through 30. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he has purchased with his own blood. That's why in Jude 4 it says they've taken the grace of God, you know, and turned it into immorality, you know, for the lust, for the cares, the pleasures of this life. And a lot of people don't even consider this. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. <clears throat> this is what I've been seeing, you guys, when I go into the churches trying to warn them. There's probably a few churches that are aware, you know, that do see, but they're probably few. Like, I mean, very few and few in it. Because I was witnessing with the lady in here, and she goes, these things that you're saying, she goes, if you were telling people this, they get up and walk out. They don't want to hear that. And uh, and it's what I'm telling you now. When I told them about the 46 chromosomes, telling them that we're in the last days, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. That's what's happened. Even the teachers that were teaching people where you had to get a license, they were teaching you to interpret uh, doctrine. 
where scripture clearly tells you that it's not meant for our interpretation. I took a class. I had like 54 hours in a uh, Bible study class for learning how to be learning the word and stuff. And that was one of the things they taught us was interpretations. And when the Bible says you're not supposed to do that. I didn't know that because we weren't discussing that at that time. They didn't get into that. Second Peter 3, 14 through 18. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent, that you may be found of in him in peace, without spot and blameless. And account for the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, has written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things that are hard to be understood, which they are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. See, there's a lot of these scriptures, when we're talking about overcoming sin and stuff, they won't go there. They stay away from it. I've been told, what doctrine are you trying to teach? You know? And I said, it's out of scripture. I said, read it. That's what it, we're going over. Including the things that they would teach, but they don't want to teach about resisting or overcoming sin. That you can through Christ. You therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware lest also being led away by the air of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory and now forever and ever. Amen. You guys, this is where, you know, we, we have to overcome all these things and we have to be steadfast. We didn't get our eyes open to uh, still have the cares of this life. When we had our eyes open, we seen, we know that this government is evil and corrupt, that it just waxes worse and worse. As scripture says, they pass, they keep passing laws of immorality <clears throat> and people still want to vote for somebody thinking, you know, they're going to make it better. And it's only gotten worse through our entire lifetime, even our parents' lifetime. It's only gotten worse. It doesn't get better. It only gets worse with each generation. And now we're in that time. That's why it says, you as he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin, we see and we know clearly what's uh, happening right now. Where most people can't hear it or receive what we say. You know, that's why Jesus said the temple, he said, why can't you hear my words? What I'm saying, they couldn't hear it no matter what he said. And then he goes, because you're the children of your father, the devil. And the same thing is now, you know. You look at um, the history back then. When, uh, look at uh, Joseph. He was sold as a slave to Egypt. And uh, which he was considered the savior of Egypt. Because he could interpret the Pharaoh's dreams, what God was going to do. And the seven, seven, seven years of good, seven years of bad, of the uh, famine. And these, these numbers are in scriptures a lot. And I think that's what we're getting ready to go into now. But anyhow, Joseph was the savior of that. He was sold for 20 silver coins. And then you look at when Jesus was sold for, I think it was 30 silver coins but he was the savior of the world and and it's like as if it this each thing that we read it's bigger it comes back bigger and what we're seeing now you know this is uh i think we've seen the seven years of getting ready for what's about to happen the the wise and the foolish the seven that got ready or the five that got ready and the I think over the last seven years. And I think starting in 21 is going to be the last seven. But it's going to be phenomenally bad. Because you're going to be seeing where, you know, 
call a huge carnage of death where people are going to be getting killed, dying of all kinds of disease. <clears throat> Somebody shared with us um, the other day how they had family members that were tested and that tested positive COVID or whatever. Let me tell you something. When I heard that, first thing that came to my mind, whatever that was that they stuffed up their nose and they put it on their penile gland, and it comes from the government, it comes from the enemy. We know there's no such thing. But then when they say they tested positive, you know what they do? They want to know everybody you've been around. Everybody that you have been around. And then they're going to get those numbers. And then it's like a web. It's like as if, okay, everybody you've been around is now stuck in this web. Give us a list of everybody you've been around um, in the last two weeks. You know? This is where I'm starting to think we're going to have to start being more separated now. Keep coming out from among a lot of these people. Because... You, unless you want to end up on their list where somebody's going to come knocking on your door saying you've been exposed to somebody, you know, and then they're going to want to stick that stick up your nose, you know, which I would never allow that. But uh, I'm at the point now where, you know what, people want to go around wearing their masks, they want to go around being a part of their going with the flow of this world. This is why I'm, I believe, you guys, we're close to the time where we need to be separated from everybody. Or you could end up on their list of uh, people that have to be tested because you were around somebody that tested positive, you know? You guys, they want to stick that stick up everybody's nose. They want to stick that needle in everybody's arm and inject that stuff in everybody. This is, you want to be separated from it. Get away from it. 1 John 4, 1 through 6. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. That's why, you guys, those who have seen Jesus have seen God. And a lot of people don't even realize this. You know, he came in the flesh so that he could have a relationship with us and to free us from our sins. That's why he said your captivity is over. He came in the flesh and made a way for us and cleansed us with his blood. That's why it says you were bought with a price. This place is so infested now, it's got to be destroyed. It's got to be destroyed. It is like the days of Noah now. It's just like it's Sodom and Gomorrah, perverted Alright, verse 4 here. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than what is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. This is where we want to be separated from everybody, you guys. We got to be separated from them. A mileage right now is at 144,440 miles. I think we're really, really close, you guys. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. James 1.22 But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. This is where a lot of people are deceiving themselves because they're all wearing their masks. They're following uh, with everybody else. They're all going in the same direction together. You can see how cold it is, just for my breath. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. 
Psalms 119.9 by taking heed to his word and they're not doing that today God help them love not the world or the things that are in it Matthew 7.24 whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Whoever hears these sayings of mine Hey, I'm going to show you guys something. I told you they're coming. They're whiting out the skies again. So they got a double, two, two of them. And there's that one going right now. Way over there. And those up there. There's another one back there. It's not hard to see what they're doing, you guys. And most people can't see it. <clears throat> Most people cannot see it. It's being hid. It's being hid from them. No matter what we tell them. They can't hear what we say. Um, it's freezing cold out here too. And these people, they just can't see it. It's hidden from them. Matthew 4.4 4. But he answered and said it is written Man shall not live by bread alone But by every word That proceedeth out of the mouth of God You guys I'm serious you guys Because of how people are being um, um, They're testing other people And they're saying that they tested Positive for it Number one they're of the world If they've been tested for Anything and they believe it, they're of the world, and they had that stick put on their penile gland. Okay, this is what I hear. When somebody shares this with me, this is what I hear, that their family members have literally let them put that on their penile gland, and that's part of the enemy, what they're doing. If you've allowed this, or if you've got a loved one, somebody that you knew that did this, um, I would say they're, you're lost. I would say there's a very good chance they're probably lost. And, uh, and then if they test positive, well, your name's going to probably be going on their list. Remember, it says they will turn you in to have you put to death. They'll probably turn you in to put you on that list, too. And that's the last thing you want is them knocking on your door. All right. Hebrews 1.3. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. You know, he purged our sins and then he sat on the right hand side of God. Took our sins away, you guys. This has been done from the beginning. 1 John 3, 8 through 10. He that committeth sin, he's of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever is born of God does not commit sin. That's why it says you got to be born again. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifested, and the children of the devil. Whoever does not righteousness, he's not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. This is where you're going to start seeing people that the hatred is going to be coming out like you've never seen before. I used to read this, and I would think, like, you know, my, my brother, you know? No, it's bigger than that. Because we're all the children of Abraham, right? So if we're all the children of Abraham... 
Yeah, we're brothers and sisters, especially those who do the will of God. First John chapter 2. My little children, I write these things unto you that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate. With the Father, it's Jesus Christ the righteous. He's the proper bishop for our sins. Not only for ours, but for the sins of the whole world. Hereby we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that says, I know him, and keep not his commandments, he's a liar, and the truth is not in him. Whoever keeps his word, in him barely is the love of God perfected. Hereby we know that we are in him. He that says he abides in him, ought himself also walk as he walked. You guys, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, it's not of the Father, it's of the world. And guys, we know Satan is a prince of this world. Okay? Alright, Ephesians 5, 6-8. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Because of these things comes the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not therefore partakers with them. For you were sometimes darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Mark 13, 12. Now brother shall betray brother to death. Father the son. Children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. This is all getting ready to happen, you guys. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you receive a message from this. And uh, be strong, be bold. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay? God bless you guys. I love you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the